Hi, it's Chester Togwa from Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're looking at the hash value error uh, that appears sometimes in your workbook in Excel. Um, so I've come up with some examples where you might come across this error. Let's first of all just look at this one. So what we've got, we've got some sales figures for this particular day. Uh, and we tried to add them up using this little formula up here, B3 plus B4 plus B5 plus B6 plus B7. And for some reason, we get this value error. Now, you've probably spotted what the problem is. One of the values that I'm trying to add up is a text value. Bill is on leave, so I've needed to know I needed to note this in my spreadsheet. Uh, useful little note there. But when I try and include that cell reference B4 in my formula, it comes up with this value error. We cannot add up text. You cannot use mathematical operators uh, with text values. So we get a problem. Now, you can actually get around this. And this is probably actually the way you would add up, normally add up these values. But instead of using these kind of mathematical operators, you could use the sum function and just express the range B3 to B7. And it actually does cope with the fact that there is a text value within that range. And that works absolutely fine. But without using uh, that sum function, using the normal mathematical operators, you get this problem, this hash value problem. Now let's look at another scenario. Um, what we're doing here is we're basically trying to work out the totals by multiplying um, D2 by E2, so D by E. Now, uh, on some of these examples, I don't actually have a value. So this is 0, so 0 times 13 uh, gives me 0. That's absolutely fine. But down here, I seem to have a 0 here, or nothing, or a blank cell here. Uh, but this time, um, rather than just getting a zero, which is what I'd expect, I get the error value, the value error. Now, we know that um, if you include text within a formula, you use mathematical operators, you get this value error. But there, is, there isn't any text there, or it doesn't appear to be. It's just a blank cell. But actually, there is some text there. It's just invisible. If I click on that cell and then click up here, can you see there's actually a space there? You can see it on your formula bar. If I uh, delete that space, let me try again, backspace, uh, press enter, uh, I get um, the zero uh, answer that I'm after. So, yeah, little spaces, they can be really annoying. If they're in there, you can't see them in the cell. But what you can do is, if I just undo what I've done there, you can click up into the formula bar, and you can see that there's a bit of a space going on there. Just backspace it, press enter, and you'll get rid of the problem. Right, third example where you may get the value error. Now, this is where you're using, uh, or you need to use, array formulas. What I'm doing here is I'm multiplying this range here by this range here. Now, normally you cannot do that if you're not using an array formula. Uh, you can't multiply ranges by ranges. There is a product function that allows you to do this, uh, but we're going to use the sum function just to demonstrate this point. Um, now, what I can do is if I want to actually do calculations based on uh, ranges, I have to, rather than pressing enter to confirm the formula, I do control shift enter and what that does is put the brace brackets either side of my formula and it gives me my answer there so if you forget to do your control shift enter you don't get your brace brackets and you get the value error it cannot actually perform the calculation interestingly if I was to move this over here, <laughs> it does do a calculation. So it's only when it's directly adjacent to the uh, values that you're doing the calculation on does it uh, return the value error. If I move it over here, it's doing some kind of calculation there. Um, so uh, it doesn't return the value error, but it's not really giving you the answer that you're wanting to uh, get. Uh, down here, where it's adjacent to those values, you get the value error, and I need to do my control shift enter 
to get the answer that I'm after. Okay, hopefully that was useful.